So when the surface of your eye does feel dry, can you kind of describe how that feels for you? Sometimes it feels like I have something in my eye um, and I'll, I keep trying to blink to make it feel better and it doesn't get better. Sometimes it feels scratchy. Okay. And I think it's an eyelash and I go to look and it's there's nothing in there. Right. Um, so, and then again, my vision fluctuates sometimes. So I think collectively it's from the dryness. Looking at your symptom questionnaire, you definitely show up um, having some symptoms of, of ocular surface disease. And so I'm going to take a look at that here shortly with my microscope and we'll see exactly what, what surface is the issue. Okay. Your tear film normally has three layers to it. It's mucus, water, and oil. So when I do my examination, we're going to be looking at those different layers to isolate which one is deficient. And okay. then that way we can come up with a good custom treatment plan for you. So in doing your, your examination, what we found that the issue for you is the uppermost layer, the oil gland. So as, as we talked before, your tears are made up of three layers, mucus, water, and oil. And in your case, the oil layer is the deficient layer. And so as I looked at the scan that we did in the other room, we could tell that your tears are evaporating much faster than normal. So you're not quite like the Dead Sea, which would be over here, okay, where nothing can live in it, but you're certainly moving in that direction and, and you're not necessarily in the healthy zone like we would like you to. So by replenishing and restoring that oil layer, this should also help that tear osmolarity for you. So what the tear care procedure does is a two-step process. It's a heating element which actually heats up those glands and melts the content of the gland. So it turns it from a wax into more of an oil. The heat feels really good. I can feel that there's heat on the upper and the lower portion of my lids. It does kind of feel like a massage on the eyes. And then the second step is expression. And so what I come in and actually express the glands manually to flush them out and, and actually help them to be more patent and functioning again. When we're expressing the glands, we'll actually see them open up. And so the nice thing about this procedure relative to some of the other procedures is that it's actually a live feedback. You know, it's very real life feedback. You can actually see the custom treatment being done. So if I have to work on, you know, one or two of the glands multiple times, I can do that behind the microscope. Some of the other procedures that are out there, you just, it, it, they're more automated and, and they just happen and, and you kind of cross your fingers and hope that you got enough. But with this particular procedure, I can, I can spend time and work on the glands to make sure that they are functioning the way they're supposed to. The nice thing about tear care is there's no real restrictions after the procedure. So patients who drive themselves into the office can drive themselves home. No limitations from a driving standpoint. Um, makeup can be worn immediately after the procedure. Um, if you just had refractive surgery, there's no limitations. So the uniqueness about tear care is because it's a very custom treatment. And so if a patient has issues with their oil glands, for example, I can identify which glands are the problem and we can spend a little bit more time expressing those glands to get them functioning better. Some of the other available treatments that include heating and expressing are more uh, automated, and so it, it kind of happens as a one-size-fits-all. Um, I would much rather treat uh, individual patients and, and do it more customizable. Mm -hmm.